An absolute ton of mobile games come out every single month and sorting through the best to figure out what's worth playing can almost be a full-time job on its own. That's why GameRakes is bringing you the 10 best new iOS and Android games of April 2016. Just as a quick note, this is a best paid list. A best free list will be coming later. Number 10, Harvest Moon Seeds of Memories. Okay, so this takes a little bit of setup. The original games are called Farm Story in Japan. They were localized by a company called Natsumi, but now a Japanese company that owns the rights to the original farm story has opted to have Xseed publish the games here in the United States. Natsumi still owns the rights to the name Harvest Moon and has created a different game. Now, I don't mean an entirely different game. Their first attempt came out on the 3DS and diverted a little bit too far from what Harvest Moon is. But this time, they've pretty much gotten it at least close to right. The actual interface in this game is superior, in my opinion, to the original Harvest Moon. Now, that doesn't mean that the game itself is superior to the original Harvest Moon. And I'm not going to say that the art style really really compares to the old art style. That being said, this is a really good version of Harvest Moon and delivers a lot more of what we've come to expect from the series. It is a premium title, it costs $9.99, but you aren't going to get nickel and dimed at every moment in order to avoid the wait time on whatever thing it is you're doing. Number nine, Warbits is a tribute to the old Advance Wars games. And if you're not familiar, it is a fantastic turn-based strategy game that I have to say deserves a tribute. Now Warbits definitely turns up the graphics factor quite a bit and has a very distinctive art style. There are a few minor twists on the gameplay that are going to keep it interesting, add in local and online multiplayer, and really, how could you go wrong? This is a title that mobile literally exists for. Number eight, Shadowbug. What is a very, very cool looking action platformer that actually frees you by limiting you in a way. You see, in the game, you cannot jump. The only way that you can propel yourself up into the air is by attacking an enemy. And that might sound not really like a big deal, but believe Believe me, this game really plays in a fluid manner. After a little while, you're going to create sort of a rhythm for yourself, and when you get going, it really just feels right. And to say that about a mobile action platformer, when there are literally hundreds of those that come out every single month, well, that means it's good. Number seven, Goo Saga. It's like, for some reason, this month decided to turn up the good platformer quotient quite a bit. Now, first off, this game is not related to World of Goo. It's not a puzzle game. It is a platformer. There are a couple of very, very minor similarities to World of Goo, but nothing that really makes it feel like the same game. There are a few things that are a little bit puzzly about it, but I wouldn't call it a puzzle game. I would call it, it's truly just a great old school platformer, but it brings enough interesting elements to the table that makes it worth your time. Number six, Lego Jurassic World. Now I'm gonna say that you probably already know exactly what I mean by Lego Jurassic World. And I'm gonna say that you're pretty much right, but there are a few things that are very unique to Jurassic World that make it a little bit different than other LEGO games. First off, it contains key scenes from all four of the Jurassic movies, from Jurassic Park all the way to Jurassic World, and it's obviously a funny game because it's TT Games, and they inject a lot of humor into their LEGO series. It's also a great console experience on your mobile phone. It really retains all of the production values that you've come to expect from the console Lego series. Number five, Catch. From the makers of Darklings and Rock comes a really colorful puzzle platformer that I'm going to call both really engaging and incredibly cute. And you might think, I don't know if I want to play a cute game. Yes, you do. If you like puzzle platformers, this is the game you want to play this month. This is a fantastic game that controls incredibly tightly and brings everything up a notch with morphing environments that bring an extremely large amount to the table that you wouldn't expect and frankly, puzzle platforming is a genre that benefits from uniqueness probably more than almost any other genre. Number four, Pang Adventures brings back the old Hudson Soft series, Pang, as you might expect. The original came out in 1983, but it really hit its stride in the 90s, starting with 1990's Super Pang. Essentially, you shoot or hit or do various things to pop balloons. And while it might seem like a very simple concept, this is a fun game. To be completely 
frank, this is probably the best version of Pang, and that's saying a lot. Whether you're looking for nostalgia or just a really unique series, this game delivers on both. Number three, Guns of Infinity, from the author Paul Wang, is an extremely long but engaging interactive novel. Now, you might say, that's not a game. Do you think that graphics are what makes a game? Because if you don't, and what you really like is branching dialogue structure, a la The Witcher, and can deal with the fact that you're not actually traversing landscapes at all, this is a really intriguing and enjoyable interactive way to spend your time. On top of that, you'll feel smart. I sure do whenever I read. Number two, Chameleon Run is this really gorgeous, stylized runner that has you switching between different colors, purple and yellow, depending on which platforms you use, as well as brings a very slick presentation without really taxing your hardware too much. Truly a very good use of not just the capabilities of a system, but also the confines of the runner genre. A really fantastic example of this kind of game, and I think one that even people who are not fans of the genre would enjoy a great deal. And finally, number one, Star Knight, which is flat out the most unique looking action platformer on any platform right now, from PC to console to mobile. In some ways, it really reminds me of Outland, but in other ways, it completely reminds me of Super Meat Boy. And as far as their sub-genres of platformers, there are not two games that are better than those. Not to mention, this is flat out the most visually gorgeous title in the platforming genre right now. Did you miss any of these games, or did you play any of them? Which was your favorite? Let's have a discussion in the comments. I'll meet you there. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so we upload brand new videos every single day of the week and the best way to see them first is of course a subscription as always we thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time right here on game ranks